Why do the nations rage and the peoples plot in vain? The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, let us burst their bonds apart and cast away their cords from us. He who sits in the heavens laughs. The Lord holds them in derision. Then he will speak to them in his wrath and terrify them in his fury, saying, As for me, I have set my king on Zion, my holy hill. I will tell of the decree. The Lord said to me, You are my son. Today I have begotten you. Ask of me, and I will make the nations your heritage and the ends of the earth your possession. You shall break them with a rod of iron and dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Now, therefore, O kings, be wise, be warned, O rulers of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the Son, lest he be angry and you perish in the way, for his wrath is quickly kindled. Blessed are all who take refuge in him. And so, Father, um, I thank you for those words, I guess, of David in Psalm 2. Lord, this morning we, I think, all would like to tell you that we're kind of stressed and we're afraid. Um, Lord, we've been through COVID and like a million died here, millions have died around the, the, the world. And now, Lord God, millions are fleeing the Ukraine and war is um, ravaging that nation. And um, Vladimir Putin even talks about things like nuclear, a nuclear holocaust. Um, so, Lord God, I thank you. I thank you that you know all of this, that you feel all of this. I thank you that you feel the sorrow of every child that's suffering. You know the anguish of every mother and father in the Ukraine worrying about their children, their livelihood. You experience the pain of every soldier, Lord, that lies in a ditch, bleeding. You feel the pain. You bear the guilt of every Russian boy who just shot someone and wonders what they're doing in this other land. Lord, you even comprehend the panic and the terror and the darkness in Vladimir Putin's soul and in my soul and in our soul. And yet, Father, you laugh. That's what it says in Psalm 2, that you laugh. You feel all this pain, all this sorrow, all this suffering, and yet you, you laugh. Lord God, I pray that you would help us to understand your laughter and we would laugh with you. The psalm says that you set your king on Zion, on the holy hill. And Lord God, you've revealed to us who your king is. It's a slaughtered lamb. Jesus, you are that slaughtered lamb. You're the, you're the one that feels every bit of pain, every bit of sorrow, every bit of suffering. And yet you stand victorious on the throne of God. And then, Lord God, you, you cause us to hear what the lamb is saying. Behold, I make all things new. And yet in Revelation, we're all running from the Lamb. For Lord Jesus, you are running in the opposite direction. Uh, you, are, you are so different. You are so radically different than each one of us. I pray that you'd help us to trust you, to hear what you're saying, and, and begin to laugh with you. For you are the one that makes all things new. And you are the one that takes his place in the throne of our heart. So, Lord God, we pray um, that you would do that in us and that you would give us your courage and that in, in the midst of the sorrow and the anxiety and the fear, you would cause us to laugh. And, Lord, I pray for our Ukrainian brothers and sisters that you would cause them um, to laugh in you. And I thank you for how they are. I even see it on TV. I thank you, Lord Jesus, for their courage, for their joy, for their faith, for, for your life welling up in them. And I pray, Lord, that that life would well up in us and that, Lord, we would all begin to laugh with you knowing that you are the one that has conquered. And, and you don't conquer from some distant place. You conquer in the sanctuary of our souls. And so I thank you for that. And, Father, I ask that you would give us courage. Um, in Jesus' name, amen. All right, you may be seated. 
Hey, I am uh, so, I just discovered this. I'm so excited that uh, Daniel Yarborough is here this morning. And Daniel is the son of Doyle Yarborough, who is on our uh, board, the Yarborough family up at Lookout. And Daniel just came from the Ukraine. He's a missionary in Ukraine. So I'm going to ask Daniel, came with John and Kelly, to come up here and, and uh, take a minute. And so I, you know, I prayed the kind of the theological prayer, Daniel, because pastors do that, you know but you're the guy that's there. And so maybe you could just tell us a little bit and then lead us in a prayer for the people that you know, and then I'll continue in prayer and you just stay up here with me, okay? All right? Yeah, hi, thank you for um, praying for Ukraine today and thank you for praying for the people that are there. Um, Yeah, I have family there still. My wife is Ukrainian and uh, we just left the country a week ago. we flew from Budapest back to the States. And so um, Ukraine doesn't just need prayers for uh, safety or for the shelling to stop, but um, my prayer for Ukraine is also that they would have wisdom and discernment and clarity. And just like we sang that um, he is undivided. When, with so much division and chaos and war, We want to pray that Ukrainians know that God is whole and he is undivided and he is with them and for them. And so, yeah, I don't want to give a military briefing. (laughs) You're welcome to ask me questions after. Um, They started shelling our city this morning. So we have a team on the ground there. six of our missionary young Ukrainians that are housing people fleeing um, from the conflict, and and now that's part of the conflict uh, in central Ukraine. So let me pray, and then you can... And then I'll... Yeah, tell me your wife's name, Daniel. Tatyana. Tatyana. Mm -hmm. She's Ukrainian. Yeah. Do you have children? I have two daughters, Camila and Nicole. They're also Ukrainian and American. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, will you pray, and then I'll take over and pray for you and then we'll all go back into a prayer. Okay? Thank you. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you are undivided, like we just sang in that song. And I pray that over um, the Ukrainian soldiers that they would know when they see division or chaos that you are undivided and they would know your nearness. I pray that for all of the people organizing uh, humanitarian aid, but also um, the strategy for Uh, internal refugees to move. Lord, that you just bless them with wisdom. Just like Saul and and, and David that says the Holy Spirit came upon them and they knew strength and power of your Holy Spirit. I pray that for our team, Lord, that you would give them wisdom today, wisdom of what supplies they need to buy, wisdom of what gasoline or whatever, whatever preparations you have. Lord, that there would be a calm and a peace that rest from Hebrews 4, Lord, that your people would just be at rest, at peace inside. Like was just prayed, that laughter, that laughter, it's it's not a scornful laughter, it's a laughter in the confidence of the king who is on his throne. We bless the people of Ukraine with that today. In Jesus' name. Well, Father, we certainly agree with Daniel's prayer. And God, I thank you for the just the sweet gift that this is to have Daniel show up after all these years. Because I, I remember Doyle's little kids running around church. Mm-hmm. Um, so thank you, Lord, that Daniel has looked to the throne and seen you undivided, Jesus. That mm-hmm. your love never fails. And that, um, Lord, you laugh because you've conquered and your love has conquered. Mm-hmm. So, Lord, I pray for Daniel as he walks through the next months, and Tetiana and their two children, that you would keep their eyes on the throne, that you would give them the wisdom they need for the moment. Because, Lord, I, I sit and watch the news flipping between the channels, trying to figure out what to do, and I don't know what to do. Um, Lord, you know what to do, but you tell us in the moment. You cause us to, to move out of your love and your kindness and your compassion. So I give, I, I pray wisdom for for Daniel, and I pray your wisdom, Lord, for um, uh, President Zelensky and President Biden, um, for the people of Ukraine, for the people of the world, that you'd all give us wisdom. 
And Lord, I know that Jesus, uh, Jesus, I know that you are the wisdom and, and you actually are the one that stands on the throne in the sanctuary of our soul. So I pray that you would help us to trust in you and you would cause us to love. And then Lord, that you would give us that gift of confident laughter in the midst of the chaos because you have conquered and you are revealing um, your victory. So Lord, I pray your blessing on Daniel and we pray your blessing on Ukraine. We pray your blessings on the United States of America, upon the whole world, Lord God. I thank you that you do have the whole world in your hands. Um, that's what we sang as kids, and it's true. So, uh, Father, we thank you that you have conquered and that you choose to conquer through us. You make us your very body. We, we are your temple.